So here's my progress from yesterday. So I coded a number of scripts, all from scratch. So this is the code that builds the Pi menu. This is the code that sets the nav mesh in this object for other objects to grab it. I was uh, thinking that we might have to have it so you grab the closest nav mesh and navigate and have a little bit of overlap. But for now, it's just set that way. And then, this is what sets the navigation targets and also calls the Pi menu and inspect and things like that. So I can left click and it gives it a point to navigate to. So I can go like this. and he'll hit each point. So he's going to go around the circle now. And if I right click on an object, it brings up inspect the first time. And then the next time you right click, it'll bring up a pie menu. Interact, inspect, pick up, that kind of stuff. And uh, these aren't slugged out yet to do anything. Right now it just changes the text. But uh, there it is. And uh, this is how the UI is handled. This object runs this script. If the element doesn't exist because it hasn't been added yet, add it and stick it on the end of the list that describes what element to add. And there's different behaviors for different parenting types that I've already set up. So you can make it stick to the camera, or you can make it stick to a game object, or you can call a vector to place the uh, UI at. And this uh, updates the UIs. And I used uh, Multipop, which is from uh, Stack Exchange, right here. What this does is it removes multiple objects from a list at the same time. So it, in case I need to remove multiple UI objects in the same frame, it won't break anything. And uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.